Well, the markets are set to open in about, well, 40 minutes from now. For what to watch for today, I'm joined by Ron Davari, New Oak Capital CEO. And, Ron, we were just talking about uh, this news yeah. from about the PPIP program Correct. that's a little bit under the radar with all the Bank Absolutely. of America news. And so uh, apparently the Treasury Department is striking some deals with some of these fund managers that they Absolutely. determined to be part of the program. What does that mean? I mean, what's the message? You said that's interesting to watch. Why is it? It is interesting because the market really didn't believe that the managers would be able to go out and raise the capital because there is, on the investor side, they're not exactly sure whether they really want to leverage these toxic assets, even though they get matching as well as they get So you know, let's loans. be clear, once sure. they were determined as the fund managers, they had to go out into the open market and say, hey, who, you know, to make sure that right. they had the funds to support this type of Absolutely. deal so the Treasury could come in and match sure. some of that money. Absolutely. They had actually a limited time to raise that capital. Uh, they extended it because they couldn't really meet the requirements. So now it looks like at least two Two of the, the nine have gotten to the finish line, which is a good sign that there is a, at least some money out there chasing these uh, programs. You know, and that was interesting, part mm. of our conversation with Dick Beauvais earlier about oh, sure. Bank of America saying that sure. he really thought that the toxic assets, uh, they're going to raise in value and mm -hmm. they're going to be lighter for these banks to carry sure. if the economy improves. Yeah, so, that's a big gift. So right? what do you think? I mean, <laughs> as far as the market for some of these distressed assets, what do you think it is well, right now? Well, you know, now? what are the drivers of distressed assets? You have residential assets, subprime and Alte. These were originally what are considered the borrowers that were not qualified to start with. And I don't think the rising ship really actually would rise these people. So you're going to bake in a certain amount of losses. Uh, I think the good borrowers, the question is, can we actually save the good borrowers? Mm -hmm. And obviously the, 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 the unemployment numbers have not been really good for that. We know that at least we can figure out that part of the market by watching the actual unemployment. It's going to be very proportional to that. And, you know, availability of credit. You mentioned, uh, you know, the, the credit is actually tight. People are really looking through uh, for the first time after right. several time. And, you know, the tight credit is going to create a situation where, uh, you know, the residential assets are not going to be bid up. Uh, and there are certain markets that, that are going to be a five-year, six-year time frame to get there. So we only have about 45 seconds sure. or so. But what do you think? I mean, we had this jobless claims sure. information, which, again, uh, more right. than half a million Americans finally for first time sure. unemployment. We get the jobs report tomorrow. The market's right. not really blinking at that right. too much right now. What do you make of it? Well, the main thing is that nobody's looking at 5% unemployment number here. <laughs> <laughs> anytime <laughs> you know? soon, right? Yeah, anytime soon. Yeah. Thinking. Give it at least three or four years because you're going to have to at least have 250,000 jobs added not subtracted in months to get there. So uh, we got to be patient. We are not going to get back to the So rosy. you think the market has its priced in already? I, I think that has been priced in because the market is going to be patient because liquidity, again, the driver of the price is not necessarily the fundamentals. Liquidity is back. And I think Asia's story is very positive, And hopefully our ship will rise with them. All right. We, we'll hope. We'll keep on hoping. So, uh, Ron Devari again of uh, Nuo Capital. Thanks for Thank being with so us, much, Ron. Amy. We appreciate it very much. During our preview week, you're going to watch when we go online, oh, right? Absolutely. Well, he's probably going to be here too. Thanks, Ron. Uh, that's it for this morning's uh, Fox.